would like to welcome you to Vancouver and to the 16th Annual Congress of Heart Disease. This is a special meeting. It's my uh, favorite meeting of the year, really, because of its unique characteristics. The 530 oral and poster presentation for this Congress were carefully selected by the Scientific Abstract Review Committee from 815 abstracts submitted for presentation at the meeting. 59 countries are represented here today, and we hope that this interaction between colleagues from many different countries will stimulate an exchange of ideas, will create new friendships, and will provide the foundation for a true international cooperation in the academic arena that will last long after this meeting is over. This meeting provides an extraordinary opportunity for people to interact at various levels. And that has been the real strength of the meeting. This meeting is all about cooperation and collaboration. Our current mission is to advocate for accessible, highest quality, cost-effective cardiovascular care for Californians. And one of the ways that we do that is actually presenting at meetings like this, as well as participating and endorsing meetings for our membership. The awards for 2011 will be presented now at this opening ceremony. Dr. Merrill Johnson, Dr. Deepak K. Das, to Nathan D. Wong, Dr. Martin A. Alpert, Dr. Michael H. Crickwe, Dr. Louis C. Becker, Dr. Daniel S. Berman, Dr. Badi Jagdad. I am uh, pleased to introduce to you a truly distinguished physician, scientist, educator, mentor, and a personal friend. Dr. Mehta, we look forward to your presentation. Angiogenesis is a very highly regulated process. There are activators of angiogenesis and there are inhibitors of angiogenesis. I really think these kind of conferences should happen more often because uh, people from different countries, they come together, they present this, so it's a good opportunity for learning and as well as I think even uh, to know people of different culture. That's another thing which is also very important. I think, you know, uh, with the newer modalities of imaging and, you know, or, um, the fact that I'm early in my career, I think this, uh, this, perform this presents a great platform um, to present newer work, uh, get new ideas and share ideas. Many things are presented in this meeting that are preliminary data. Uh, that haven't reached the point where they would achieve publication in a major journal. It's my first time I've ever participated in this event, but I mean it sounded and seemed uh, very, uh, very interesting, very useful, because first of all it's international, you get the chance you know, to uh, connect and uh, interact with uh, colleagues and peers from all over the world. Also it uh, has a very interesting program, uh, very interesting lineup of speakers, world-renowned and uh, experts in their fields. It is an intimate conference where you can go right up and talk to the speaker and get one-on-one -on -one feedback for your ideas. I always say, like the government would have us do to give drug A for disease B, we have to know what's the pathogenesis and how can we best intervene. So far, many of the mechanical devices and pharmacological interventions are available to treat such pathological situation. The primary endpoint of cardiovascular death or hospitalization for heart failure was reduced 18% among the patients treated with Ivabradine versus those treated with placebo. Can you see a possibility that you could use a lower dose of beta blocker and give this drug to lower, lower the rate and show the trend? And obviously, the trial is not happening. But as we all know, if the myocardium is very, very thin, then it is fibrotic and that uh, it's not going to recover function anyway. We don't need to look at that part of the myocardium. Is the sensitivity quite different from MRI in that if there's an end steady affecting the 50% of the wall thickness, can you pick that up by your echo technique or is that uh, more questionable? 
a signal intensity to a, to, uh, to a great extent depends on the amount of myocardial viability, the amount of myocyte present. So yes, if the signal intensity is markedly reduced, then most of the myocardium is not there. In other words, there's no microvasculation there. It allows very close interactions among individuals, even meeting some new people from distant laboratories, different parts of the world, not only to participate or listen, but even to present to the international group. So this is a first-rate forum for them to present, do their strut, and receive the feedback. The interaction uh, with the senior, senior scientists and uh, us, that is really great. And they inspire us with that. So that's why I'm here and I'm really, I really appreciate this event. Show up some of my ongoing projects for audience which are not focused on that. I think it's interesting to get a lot of uh, feedbacks and uh, a lot of uh, interactive discussions. There are studies suggesting that the age should not be the limiting factor for this procedure. We see uh, less apoptosis, less cell death in the brain, which can improve the overall uh, despair of oh, okay. after. There was also done uh, some work with uh, catheters called Emeabom, and virtually as did this uh, retroperfusion of blood uh, with catheters. It's a wonderful opportunity for very many young people to learn from the really established investigators. And I think this conference provides an extraordinary opportunity for blending the clinical uh, science with the, best, with the biomedical science. There are very important limitations to the premium risk score. It doesn't take into account family history, and with the more modern versions of scoring, there is some ac accounting for family history, uh, but that is a, uh, difficult to quantify. I find myself lecturing about global health, and I haven't been to the country there. How can I do that? So I think it's hugely important that we, wherever we're from, know about the problems in those countries and can talk about them intelligently. And the data is that success is very, it is the same. This was elective, elective yes. intervention, not possible. I also enjoy interacting with some of the more junior people that are at this meeting. I started out there when I first started coming to this meeting. And I think the opportunity to interact with people that are really stars in their field as a very junior person is something that really helps you uh, be motivated towards your career. This conference gives the opportunity for these uh, young cardiologists to present their, their uh, scientific research, which uh, in many other types of uh, settings such as this, the, the opportunity is, uh, is not as forthcoming. I think in all meetings, it's sort of us doing all the work or presenting data and preaching the preachers, it will be important that the young people show some innovative research what they're doing. We excluded patients that had a history of coronary artery disease and diabetes mellitus. Uh, this was done by chart review and this was done as the known factors for causing diastolic dysfunction. I'm always impressed that even though it's small, all the major institutions around the country and in the world are really represented here. What keeps me coming back is a couple of things. One is the opportunities to exchange scientific information, and then the wonderful venues that these meetings are held at. So Vancouver is just one of the great cities of the world. Well, it's a combination of the, uh, the, the academic uh, uh, knowledge, the advances, and the, uh, and the cutting edge research. It's really excellent, all three together. Well, I think what's unique is that Asher, with his enthusiasm, always brings a new energy to the meeting. He's always attracting new young people that we haven't met before and covering subjects that are brand new.